DJ Hat has has Practical Nuke incoming What's going on guys? DJ Hess here and I'm bringing you part 7 of 30 30 nukes in 30 days a countdown to Modern Warfare 3 and you can see from the very beginning there was a couple messages I was looking at. I was actually playing with some subscribers, ran into them randomly in a lobby and fortunately uh, like Race's boss is one of them on the other team and uh, HD Quickscope on my team. So shout out to those guys if they check out this video but uh, but they were on the opposite, one of them was on the opposite team and so um, we were just uh, playing some high rise ground war domination and which is Oh, it's fun, and I'm using my M16, of course, because this is my favorite uh, gun, especially on this map. Um, I ended up pulling off a nuke on this map against one of the subs, so I felt bad I, I didn't nuke him. But I actually called it in on accident. I was going for a double, and unfortunately for me, I slipped the finger and called in a nuke on accident. Like, what a friggin' rookie noob am I, huh? Anyway, so right now I'm just trying to get into position and uh, get up. Right here is always a good spot. You can always watch for the other side to see if there's people on the, the railing sniping down at you. Um, you can catch them coming up from here, down to the bottom area, through the, the bottom door actually if you look carefully. Uh, you can catch them coming through their spawn on this side, through the back sniping. This is just an all-inclusive area. Once they find you though, uh, especially in the back, if they're thermal sniping you, you don't have a chance. It's hard, to, it's hard to see where all the other guys are located, so uh, I pull off a couple of kills or one or one or so kills here, and then I um, believe I have to move on from, from it, because you don't want to stay in one place for too long. Um, nobody likes a camper anyway, so, and uh, get the little long shot there. Um, God, Chloe, you're so loud. If you hear weird little snores like, in the background, that's my dog again. And I don't know how I did that. I, I shot my... my Subscriber dude raises boss. I shot his claymore or something and it ended up killing him uh, on that one. If you didn't see that that uh, kill feed, that was kind of crazy. Um, and then my dudes are rushing in too far and they're starting to flip a little bit. So, any which way, I'm lucky that I uh, I think I heard him picking up A or something. I'm not really sure. But I saw I was flipping a little bit, turned around, got got one more kill, and I'm on my seven. So uh, let's see what the Harrier does for me. I can't remember. Uh, got this video a little bit ago, but. You can see right down there, I'm shooting at the guy down at the bottom. Fortunately, I, I got two assists instead of getting any kills from that. Um, but uh, but this is a pretty good spot to be able to pick him off down there. I didn't realize that until this game, that you can actually pick him off as they're running through through the bottom area. So A uh, little campy. I mean, I'm not rushing out too far and uh, trying to destroy my kill streak. At least I'm not waiting in a room. Um, I think I just about got that guy. At least I'm not waiting in the room waiting for my Harry to do something, because sometimes it doesn't. and. Uh, that, that's that's kind of a, a problem that happens. So you get a seven kill streak, you run off, you give up your position, and then uh, they spawn closer or near or whatever it might be, and but you gave up your position, so then you have to try to gain some of it back when you try to come back after you know your Harrier doesn't get you enough kills or whatever, and then you just automatically get killed yourself. So sometimes it's best to hold your ground. If you have good position, sometimes it's best to hold your ground until that moment where... Uh, where it's it's not gonna be able to happen and you're not gonna be able to hold your ground um, if that makes any sense that probably doesn't make any sense regardless <laughs> I just got a uh, double kill there so I am on my 12 kill streak and uh, I saw a dude running down there but I figured I would go ahead and call him the angel of death I, I like to call it that because I saw a Marcus J video recently of him getting a nuke and uh, shit sticks with you it's fun um, but anyway, so AC-130 time. It can be good on this map. Some people say it's impossible to get a nuke with an AC-130 on this map. I, I, I haven't had any problems with it. I've been pretty fortunate. But, uh, but it can be difficult because they can camp in those back rooms. The best situation is this, though, if they get in the C-Flag. Because, uh, and there's a little quad to show you. Um, they're spawning kind of out front of it. But when they're spawning in C, look at this. That's a nice little kill feed. Another two quads back to back. But you can shoot in the moon roof area at the top usually to get some kills. Um, I don't know. That was pretty pretty badass. But the other guy on my team, uh, Quickscope HD, was uh, he had a chopper gunner too. I think he was rushing to try to get a nuke as well. And uh, I think I was waiting for him to to see if he would get it. And I ended up still building on this kill streak. I don't even know what type of kill streak I'm on. Probably like 27 or 30, somewhere in between there. Um, and we rushed him too hard, and now. Uh, 
they're spawning. I think they're flipping the spawn. But I ended up killing myself because I was like, fuck it. I might as well try to get a double. And I mean, it was so early in the game that I figured a double nuke would be worth a try. And uh, unfortunately for me, what ends up happening here is I think I get a seven, six or seven kill streak, and I think I'm calling in my Harriers for some stupid reason. I thought I got a Harrier and I was calling it in, but instead, I fucking didn't, and I ended up calling in my uh, my nuke on accident. So I, who knows? It could have been a double nuke. I've come cl I've come pretty close on this map to getting a double, but uh, stupid me, man. Just uh, one of those slip slip of the thumb, and end up calling it in too early. But uh, anyway, if you guys are new to the channel, again, please subscribe. And if you guys like the gameplay content, of course, I mean subscribe. If you guys like this game, maybe give the video a thumbs up and leave a comment, and I'll try to get back to you guys. It might be a little bit difficult to get back to all the comments, considering I'm posting um, 30 nukes in 30 days. But I'll, I'll do my best. Uh, I always have to play catch up here and there, and I'll, I'll get some time to to uh, <laughs> to do it. But you can see right there, I went to go hide to call in my. Uh, my Harrier and it fucking was the goddamn nuke. What a what a noob move. Anyway, uh, end of the gameplay is right here. And again, it was fun playing with my my subscribers. Shout out to those guys. Those those were some of the dudes that were the first people that ever recognized me in a lobby, uh, which was which was pretty fun. So it was nice to be able to to roll with those dudes again. And um, I had a video on that too on my channel if you guys haven't seen that. But 39 and three, not so bad. And quick scope looked like he had 25 and four. I think he was getting close to a nuke. Race's boss, I feel bad he was on the other team. But uh, leave a comment, guys. We'll catch you guys tomorrow in the next video. Thanks.